There is a scene in Kingdom Hearts Recoded that is not only the best scene in this underrated game, it is one of the best in the series. It is the first scene in the series that in my opinion sets up Kingdom Hearts 3, the Paramount Kingdom Hearts game. Sora is finally going to learn what we have known for a long time in Kingdom Hearts. There are many people connected to him that have suffered horrible tragedies. How are they connected? They are merely victims of the circumstances of their world. When you die, a heartless is born from the darkness in your heart. If you are a strong-hearted person, afterwards, your body will act on its own, causing you to live a half-existence as the original person you are connected to has lost an essence of their being in order for you to live. Being that these half-existent people are strong-hearted by nature, <laughs> Of course they'd care about their original self. This may lead to an internal crisis, one that may lead you down a dark path. If you are one of these half-existent bodies, depending on who your original self is, you may have the ability to look into their memory, giving you an incentive to help and a sense of dread if you cannot. If you are a capable Keyblade wielder, something that chooses you or is bestowed upon you, you may become a target for literal body snatching by a more powerful foe or the enemy may use you to forcibly create a new being of half-existence, one that by its very nature will not care about its original self, leading to inevitable conflict. Your friend may fall into the realm of darkness and the only way to save them may be to take their place, unknowingly wandering darkness for 10 years. You may live a half-existence as you were forcibly created as a replica, science projects who are as real, real as people. people leading to conflict with others connected to your original self. And as a replica, if you die, you are gone. There, there won't be, be any of you to, to remember, remember, as you are created solely from others' memories. And while any of this could be happening, you may simply be a friend to one of these people, who only wants to support them and get them out of their horrible crisis. And what do you do when you are the original person? What happens when you know and by your nature, care? This scene is the culmination of all that stuff. All you need to know before this scene starts is in this game you are playing as the Sora within the journal that Jiminy fucking Cricket has been writing this entire time. Seriously, we are playing as a character in a book in a video game made of data. But this Sora eventually will make contact with the real world in order to relay this message. Sora makes it through the final area of the game and finds Namine the girl with power over Sora's memories. It makes sense for her to be here as like everyone else, she is taking refuge within Sora, in this case something connected to him, and is parsing through his memories in order to help however she can, and she has found the key memories in order to trigger the inciting incident of Kingdom Hearts. God, I hope I'm using that right. When Sora learns definitively of the many connections he has. Mickey learns too. Anyways, once Sora makes the choice to touch the memories, it is secured that Sora will finally learn of these truths. Once we are within the memories, we are given the song Destiny's Union to accompany us. Easily signifying that Sora's destiny is to solve the crisis surrounding this union. Continuing the scene, we see Sora trying to see something through the light, and Mickey not trying at all because he is high. While Sora is looking into the light, images of some people show up. Roxas, the boy who was the body Sora left behind when he became a Heartless, and Axel, the friend of Roxas who fell defending Sora. He is here because Riku is one of the most important people to Sora, and Axel is Roxas's Riku. It is emotionally powerful because of the long-standing connection we have had with these characters. Axel and Roxas are dearly beloved characters. And as Namine eases Sora into this knowledge, the camera backs up, the music intensifies, and we see two people, Namine and one with black hair. And as Kingdom Hearts fans, we take note instantly of the black-haired girl as it's not shocking to see Namine here. Until you start to think about it more, her character just like the black haired girls deals with people not remembering her, but with the audience as Namine is not as popular as the other characters. But seeing her here is the reminder that she is hurting as well and needs to be helped. And the black haired girl, Shion, she is a replica made from Sora's memories who was cruelly brought to Roxas to be his friend, 
only to be inevitably ripped away from him. But this girl was forgotten by everyone within the series. There was no her to remember. Sora doesn't even know her name, but as he is a strong-hearted person, he says, She feels so familiar. And something happened. Something terrible. Didn't it? He knows he knows her, and he knows instantly she is suffering too by the look on her face and the fact that she is here. From this point on, things start getting very intense. Namine reminds this Sora once more that the Sora in the real world is the only one that can end their pain. It is his destiny. As she is reminding him of this, the camera turns around as she says, Sora must be the key to saving the people you saw and the ones you're about to see. Instantly, we are overcome with a sense of sadness from the suffering of these individuals. The young man who had his body taken, who only wanted to defend the boy who fell to his enemy, and the young woman who tried to save him. But we are also allowed to feel some joy as it is satisfying to finally see the connection between them and Sora finally be shown to Sora. This Sora and the real one don't remember or know these people, but they have met them. And it makes sense for them to be shown as Namine has been looking through Sora's memories for a year. She has succeeded in her goal of helping him. Quickly, Sora learns of the enormity of his destiny and the burden he is carrying on his back. He is who he is because of these people. And a boy like Sora is definitely going to do something about this, as he has a heart that is uncorrupted. Kingdom Hearts 4, though, may prove to be the ultimate challenge, though, to the uncorrupted Sora. We'll just have to wait and see. Outro. Duo wheel! Ventus Venetus Sora <laughs> Haven't heard that name in a long Who else will I have ice cream with? Nominate is Kyrie's alter ego. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. <laughs> <laughs>